Always lighting candles and always eating cookies. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Body Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest blockages to blessings, abundance, and love. The biggest blockage to the blessings that are meant to come into your life that come from a space of love, divine love more specifically, is anger and resentment within the body. Now wait for me to explain this and to give you my message. For many of us, we don't even realize how much we are holding into and onto in our hearts and also in our bodies. Sometimes this comes from expectations that we put on ourselves. Sometimes it comes from external expectations, disappointment, people that hurt us, things that don't work out. Whatever the case is, human beings have a tendency to hold on to that disappointment and over time it turns into tension within the body and also resentment. If someone lets you down, if someone breaks your heart, at first we feel sad, we feel disappointed, and the majority of us after that we feel angry. Anger is one of those emotions that do not come alone. We don't just get angry for no reason. We're angry because we're disappointed. We're angry because we're sad. We're angry because we were let down. We're frustrated. We feel left out, unimportant, dismissed, forgotten, undervalued. Now anger is a very important emotion. And in the spiritual world, many of us are taught through examples, through images, that our anger is actually a bad thing or a negative thing. Now, this is because we see so many images of people who are sitting cross-legged, cross-legged, <laughs> in positions talking about namaste. The divine in me recognizes and honors and sees the divine in you, and that's true. But we're getting bombarded with these images of emotional bliss and peace to the point where we're ignoring the other emotions like anger, frustration, and rage. Anger is just as an important emotion as any of the other emotions like sadness, happiness, and bliss but it is uncomfortable to talk about because something within us was triggered and if we're so spiritually connected to the divine, why are we angry? Why are we triggered? Well, anger shows you that a boundary has been crossed. Anger was an emotion given to us by the divine to tell us that we need to protect ourselves and that something went wrong. So when you're angry, you know that you've been triggered, you know that you're sad, you know that it's time to protect yourself or it's time for you to stand up for yourself and to fight for yourself or for others. Now that doesn't mean physical fight, like I'm not encouraging you guys to go out and get in a fist fight with somebody, that's not what it is that I'm saying, but what I am saying is to advocate for yourself and something else, whatever it is that you are angry about that you are required to defend and to protect. But anything and everything has to come with balance and we can't hold on to anything in this life, including anger and including bliss. Holding on to anger especially creates tension within the body and over time, resentment builds up a thick layer that will block the flow of energy throughout your body. The universe must flow and all things that flow in a space of love and light create abundance and blessing for you. The fastest way of blocking that flow of blessings in your life is to hold on to anger and resentment. When you don't let go of anger, resentment, and guilt towards yourself or towards another person, you're blocking your ability to flow and to receive. It starts off with tension in the body first, but what ends up happening is over time, that guilt over something that you did or didn't do, that tension, that anger, that resentment towards another person to something not working out or whatever happened, over time it starts to callous. It creates like an energetic scab, an energetic keloid <laughs> that will block your ability, your energy, your light, your love to shine through and also for that love, the blessing to come through to you. What I don't want is for you to hold on to resentment and anger and guilt and over time turn into a cold, bitter person. 
because that can happen if you if you don't release if you don't let go if you don't forgive yourself if you don't forgive others once that happens when you have authentically and honestly forgiven yourself and give mercy to yourself and to another person you will actually unfold not only will you unfold because of the sense of relief of the weight of the burden of anger that has been sitting on your shoulders but you unfold because your emotional load is light you have no obligation or connection to anyone or anything that has ever happened to you and also you realize that the things that have happened to you or the things that have happened around you whether it be someone rejecting you or an opportunity that fell apart or something that you didn't do because you were exhausted or something that you did do because you were upset or hurt or vulnerable the weight of that doesn't hold you back the weight of that no longer holds you back so I just finished a reading with my client which actually was the inspiration of this video because although her reading was focused on a natal chart you guys already know that when I'm working on a reading even astrology intuitive messages have a tendency to flow through and that's what happened and the word that came through for her that made the rest of this message come through was forgiveness but more than that it was mercy and I've been you guys have heard me say time and time again about you have to give to receive the universe wants you to give in order for you to receive but in this case what I'm talking about giving is giving mercy giving mercy to another person giving forgiveness to another person giving mercy to yourself giving forgiveness to yourself for the things that have happened remember at the end of the day we are so we are so human we are not perfect now I'm not excusing anybody's behaviors I'm not excusing anybody's actions whether that be yours or someone that disrespected you but I will say that no one is perfect myself included yourself included for the sake of ourselves for the sake of our well-beings we must release we must let go of tension we must let go of resentment and be free of it so that we can flow freely so that we can unfold when we don't have this burden waiting weighing us down weighing our heart down and when this energy is able to flow through us freely we are then able to unfold because nothing is holding us victim nothing is holding us in shackles not emotionally not physically not mentally not spiritually allow yourself to be soft allow yourself to soften the only reason why a person is hardened is because they are holding on to sadness anger disappointment and those things come from a person who has been wounded who has been taken advantage of who's been a doormat who's put their heart out and has and has had it been stomped on who's been rejected and none of it is okay I'm not saying that it's okay but I don't want any one of my tribe to walk this earth with a cold heart with a bitter heart because they can't let go and not realizing that their inability to forgive that their inability to have mercy that their inability to release that tension that they're holding on in their spirit is the one thing that is blocking their blessing the one thing that is blocking their love someone else may have treated you wrong but don't join them you may have made a mistake in the past but you're bigger than that you're better than that you've lived you've learned that's the reason why you're here have mercy on yourself and have mercy on others forgive them now once you allow yourself to get in a space of forgiveness and you give yourself the chance to unfold to blossom to shine your colors to be delicate to be vulnerable to be stunning to be vibrant I want you to ask yourself the question what is it that I love and let the answer be exactly the things that it is that you love but also let that answer be yourself what is it that I love I love me I choose me I take care of me I allow me to soften I allow me to unfold I allow me to grow I allow me to prosper I allow me to thrive I allow me to be a goddess I allow me to be divine I allow me to love I allow me to have peace I allow me to be angry and then I allow me to release it <laughs> once you identify the things that it is that you love ask yourself what is my heart devoted to what is my heart connected to now this is when it gets dope this is when it gets deep this is when you start seeing the magic happen those things that it is that you love yourself people circumstances travel opportunities a career your life purpose your soul purpose all of those things come from your heart divine love lives within your heart 
Your heart and your love is the internet connection to the higher power. <laughs> The higher power, God, the divine, whatever it is that you want to call it, is, is talking to you every single day and sending you messages and asking you to give yourself a chance, to allow yourself to be vulnerable, to love yourself just as much as you would love others, to take care of yourself just as much as you would take care of another person, and to love freely, un unconditionally. Nothing, nothing should hold you back from that what it is that your heart is devoted to, whether it's here now, present, with you in this moment, or far away in the future, or physical distance, whatever that is, it can't leave you, it's always with you. Love is the most powerful force in the entire universe. Nothing can stop a person in love or who has love in their heart, nothing. Love transcends time, it transcends boundaries, it transcends distance, obstacles, Love can never leave, it is always present. Whether the thing that it is that you're devoted to is your soul's calling, calling, your higher purpose, or a soulmate, it is connected to you right here and now, and the only thing that is blocking you from drawing it in as a blessing and to strengthen it as a blessing is anything that it is that you're holding on to that is hardening your heart and blocking that flow, that divine flow within you. And it all goes back to release. It all goes back to forgiveness. It all goes back to having mercy on yourself and having mercy on others. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for your comments. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.